Yes. Okay. So we're driving here with Daryl. And if I never get out into traffic, we'll be driving. Never get into traffic. Got a little. Where all uh, these people come from? Got a busy moment here in Levada, Colorado. Look at that, more deer. There's a lot uh -huh. of deer here in Levada. They're all over the place. Yeah, I know. I was in Alamosa once, and I sat there and I watched the deer come up on the intersection at the traffic light and wait until the light came green before they came across the intersection. I mean, deer are smart critters. They can figure shit out. But, uh, yeah. The thing I like about getting out in places like this, away from all that, you're away from all the crap in the cities. They put you together in the cities and all like that. That's means of warehousing you. It's part of the Babylonian type technique. Uh, they use infanticide to control the population too. Except inside of us, instead of letting infants slide down a, a thing into a pit of fire where they're sacrificed to some pagan god, and today is done in a uh, abortion clinic. You know, when I uh, thought about the Portland skyline, I just, in my mind's eye, it's like a pentagram burning. A flaming pentagram burning underneath the skyscrapers, seeing what that city had done to so many people. And that city, like other cities, resembles more of a giant mental hospital, mm. you know, than, than anything civilized. Well, all cities are as asylums for warehousing the inmates. It was a... The techniques, you know, they're easier to control when you got them in large group. Everybody wants to give that thing up. Uh, never underestimate the stupidity of uh, people in large groups. They say it comes from George Carlin. I came from Robert A. Hines a long time before George Carlin ever made it big. You know, other people are also figuring out, yeah. Or, or people are getting the vibe that these cities are energy harvesting centers more than anything else these days, especially the transmitters and the smart meters and the cell phone towers, that they're, they're places that are sucking energy. Well, yeah, but then uh, what do you expect? When you get too many people gathered together in one place, that's gonna suck anyway. Really, people have script. You have to have a certain amount of living space, uh, area around you that's kind of free and clear type thing. That, uh, and you've got to be able to clear out your own self, your own being. Push out everything that is not part of you. So that what is left is you, not something else, not somebody else. That's when you start to get to the nature of your own being. Oh, there's another RV park here. Uh, I might check that out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Levita, Colorado is one of the prettier mountain towns. It's uh, one of Colorado's best kept secrets because it's not overpopulated and it's not overly in demand at the moment. Although things could change. Well, yeah, you look what happened to Vail and up there. Uh, places like that, uh, that when, you know, it got to be popular and all like that, uh, real estate prices shooting up and everything. Right, tell us. Uh, Levita's kind of out of the way, off the beaten path, and it's kind of nestled in around in this broad valley with mountains all around it. It's a great location. So the dense population center, which is all the people, it's almost as if all that anger and resentment and, you know, even lust and, you know, sexual tension, people living out of a natural state, it, maybe you could even give birth to some of those entities or archon energy, you know, just the, the high dense concentration of that black, <laughs> that uh, energy signature of mortal combat. Even on birth, now I go along with the Greek ideology uh, of the Athenians that believe that when a woman became pregnant, that she should be surrounded with pleasant surroundings, nice music, good food, stuff like that, from a prenatal cure, because they felt that the environment that the mother was in would uh, be, 
if it was pleasant would be conducive to giving birth to a more spiritually healthy child, a more well-rounded or capable, more enjoyable child. And definitely the emotional context, whether the child is loved while it's still in the womb or not, is something the child feels. Yeah, I never really thought about circumcision causing birth trauma. Never really haven't given it much thought until I heard uh, some people discussing it a few years ago. As I noticed several people on the internet were discussing it at the same time as if they had tapped into the uh, 100th monkey uh, and they were having the same awakening at the same time about the, uh, the birth traumas that children go through that are completely unnecessary but a part of the ritual, the Archon ritual, you could even say, of, uh, of, of an of uh, bringing in a new form of life into this type of a control structure. Oh, well, you know, the idea of picking up a baby and slapping it on the bottom so it gasps at first breath. Initiation. That's yeah. What. Well, it works better if it tickles the baby on the feet. But anything to get the baby to breathe. If they don't get the baby to breathe, the baby's going to just suffocate on its own. But, uh, feels so good out here. I mean, this is beautiful. Lovely place. And uh, this is an area near the, is it Twin Spanish Peaks? Or Spanish Twin Peaks, one or the other? No, I don't know. I don't know if Ron realizes the different mountain range names. I have, I I have a hard enough trouble uh, saying the county name. Yeah. Well. Buffano. Buffano. Yeah, I'm with you on that. We got a lot of Spanish names. Right. Spanish culture for years that I've been down through here. Uh, Southern Colorado was all pretty much part of an original Spanish land grant. And the divisions, subdivisions, and all like that that took place over the years. 